Can you talk about what you went through last year, how, how obviously alarming that was and that experience? Yeah, everybody know uh, about uh, what I went through last year. It was a re like a really tough moment for me, my family, my team, so, you know. But thanks God I'm still alive and everything is over. You know, new year, more opportunities and happy to be back with the team and, you know, keep doing what I love to do. What was that moment like when the doctor said, you're healthy? Awesome. Yeah, you know, it was a long recovery and thanks God and say thanks to, to the people in Cleveland Clinic, you know, who have seen the job to save my life and, you know, being able to play baseball again. Yo, how do you, <coughs> how fortunate do you feel and how do you feel blessed every day because of what you went through and now that you're back? You know, how exciting is that for you in, in terms of knowing where you were and to have maybe a second chance at life, if you will? Man, you know, I'm still alive. The, the, most, the most important thing. And then able to see my family, my kids, and play baseball again. You know, not to The night you got sick, you should, I think you pinch hit in that game. Yeah. And you went home, and what, what happened after you got home? I still no idea. Still no idea. Yes. The only thing that I remember is pain. I don't know where. I don't remember anything else. Now, who, who you got to the hospital, how did that? No idea. Okay, you still don't remember that? No idea. Did you call somebody or? No idea, yes. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know what happened. Okay. Yeah. Do you almost feel fortunate, though, that you were in Cleveland? I mean, you're kind of a yeah, world class, a, like, healthcare. I'm a kind. lucky man, you know. <laughs> you know, things get happy in Cleveland. You know, it shouldn't happen, but it happened in Cleveland. When were you able to, like, understand what had happened when the doctors? first talk to you and like like a day right after a day or two days after it came out I see you okay was your family your yeah. wife here and yeah, they, they got into town and my entire family yeah okay did you ever have that horrific thought that maybe you couldn't play ever again or couldn't make it out of there yeah yeah a lot of, a lot of bad things came to my mind and uh, you know, I always thought there's something behind nobody wanna tell me or something. I don't know at that moment, but things got in, like good shape right now, 100%, and being able to play baseball again. Can you take the field again? Do you think you'll think about that and just kind of look up and look around and think about how lucky? Oh, uh, I don't wanna really think about that, but it's gonna be emotional, you know. That was like. We turn around my life, and that's something I will never forget. You know, got to move forward. How long did it take before you could actually resume anything physical, start working out again, get your strength back? It's been it's been long, a long recovery, man. You know, the doctors and they we've been doing everything like a baby step, everything is slow. We we had plenty of time to chop and spin training and ready, so. We do everything right, you know, take it slow. You ready now? Yeah, I'm, I feel 100%. Oh, cool. You have all your strength yeah. back? And Excuse me? Do you have all your strength back? Yes, I feel 100% now, feel normal. Yes, At what point did you feel 100%? Like, like normal, like what I used to be, like to do all type of activity, baseball activity, whatever. What's your biggest goal for 2019? Have this team to win the whole series. <laughs> A lot of the Indians players put your initials and your number on their hats and a lot of guys around baseball did. What did that mean to that have was, that kind of support? That was really emotional for me, you know. And watch the games and see see the support from my teammates and all through the process I had a lot of support. You know, the fans, friends, my teammates, the front office guys here in Cleveland. Like, that was a lot of support. I'm really thankful for that, and I will never forget that. Has the doctors been able to give you any idea why this happened or how it happened? Or Still no idea. Nobody told anything to me. 
the only thing that I care about is 100% right now, and I got to move forward. Do you do you don't think it could be good to use your emotion? Is that you? And during the game, you can't. I don't know. You we, can't. We're a human. <laughs> <laughs> but I will do my best to be under control. <laughs> but you know, it's gonna be emotional. Knowing that there was an opportunity now and a, and a need in the in several outfield spots for the Indians, did that motivate you or help you in your recovery and your in your work? Knowing that you know this team needs you to play a big part in the outfield for this upcoming season. Man, everything happens is gonna motivate myself. You know, got a second chance in this life, and so I'm gonna enjoy my every single time that I wear the Cleveland Indian uniform. I'm gonna be out there doing my best and try to do try to do my job, my job best that I can. Do you like just being in the ballpark now? Does normal things mean a little more to you now after everything you've been through? Or? This is kind of normal right now. There is nobody out there. There is no fans. There is no game. Mm -hmm. That's gonna change a little bit. That's gonna make the difference. Do you remember when you, like, woke up or I guess sort of realized what was going on? Were you just totally shocked at, you know, like? I don't know. I was <laughs> like, I lose my mind. And take a little while to recover and remind myself. Mm -hmm. It's over. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thank you.